I swear some of this stuff I wish I knew 10 years ago check it out it's my lifestyle it's my lifestyle hey what's going on so I want to talk about four things that I've struggled with that I've now not completely but almost eliminated from my life one is distractions distractions is a key component getting in the way of your success getting in the way of doing what you got to do just plain and simple just doing what you got to do whether it's following your passion or doing your side hustle whatever the case may be distractions is a big thing social media is a big thing a lot of people spend too much time on social media don't be the consumer use it as a tool use social media as a tool along with those distractions is multitasking multitasking is what some people use to brag that they can do a lot of things at once no you can't do a lot of things at once you're just doing a lot well okay so you can do a lot of things at once but you're not completing a lot of things at once that's the difference that's the problem that i used to have up until my wife came into my life and now she she gets me on the right track she has really completed me when it comes to that she's not the type to do a lot of things at once she gets things done one by one by one so i may be ahead of myself you know wanting to go from step one to step five doing two three and four at 30 40 and 50 percent well she kind of wakes me up you know shakes me a little bit and says hey I see what you're doing i respect it we got to take a, take care of these first to make step five even better okay cool so another thing that falls into distractions that kind of ties into social media is going to be these streaming services these streaming services that we binge watch that we sit there and watch for hours get in the way of doing what you got to do don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with watching a show that you like enjoying a show sitting down and watching a show cool watching a movie nothing wrong with that i love movies but it's different when it comes to binge watching because you can go from season one to season three in a day or two days or a week and now get done plain and simple you won't get done so cut that out not completely but just you know trim a little fat off it all right and now two is comfort zone get out of your comfort zone nothing good happens in your comfort zone everything stable happens in your comfort zone everything safe happens in your comfort zone that's it you have to take risks to get the rewards and I'm not say I'm not saying bet a million on black. I'm not saying go to Vegas and put 500 on your first hand. I'm not saying that. Calculated risks are the good ones. Educated risks are fine. I'm not saying gamble. I'm not saying literally gamble, like going to Vegas. Try to get out of your comfort zone. Do things that you wouldn't normally do. Improve your network. It's true when they say your network is your net worth. Keep that in mind. Get out of your comfort zone. Three, procrastination. Procrastination is a big one, guys. This is a big one. Too many of us procrastinate like it's the thing to do. It's not the thing to do. Get done. Don't make an excuse why you can't do it or why you can push it off for a week why you don't have to start today there's no reason to not start whatever it is you want to do don't put off the tasks that you have to take care of that you have to handle whether it's at work whether it's at school whether it's for yourself or your future get done number four is inconsistency man how inconsistency can kill you not really kill you but kill your hopes and dreams man that's a, a common denominator that I have in a lot of my videos is talking about being consistent. I consistently talk about consistently staying consistent. All right, just keep going, 
keep pushing, keep doing what you're doing. Even though it's boring, it's still working. You gotta chip at it, you gotta chip at it, you gotta chip at it, just keep pushing. I promise you, in three to five years, the consistency that you have right now is gonna lead to the success that you're getting in those years in the future. I promise. All right, you guys, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. You know the script. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys got something from this. I really do. And let me know if you have any ideas of the next video I can do. Leave me a comment. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Towers Lifestyle. I appreciate y'all.